another week, another white top. I just cannot stop making and wearing them right now. But it's summer, it's hot, it's humid, and white is perfect for all of that. Plus, it's fresh, clean, and matches nearly everything. This white top is made from an embroidered cotton with a wide eyelet trim, but we will get to all of that shortly. First though, let's chat about the pattern. This is McCall's 8180. They describe it as a Peter Pan ruffled collared blouse with long, short and long sleeves. View A has a ruffled collar and view B and C have large collars. I made view A with the more subtle or smaller collar, smaller collar, that uses purchase trim instead of self fabric. I didn't make any alterations to it and graded out for my hips like usual. This is also the exact length of the pattern without any adjustments lengthwise. The fit is pretty perfect. The only thing that I don't love is how low the arm size are. As a result, when I raise my arm, the entire side of the shirt lifts up. You can see that when I raise the armhole, like a little, like I kind of tuck it into my armpit a little bit, I have a lot more range of motion without the top lifting on the side. So this happens, this fitting issue happens with McCall's patterns a lot because for whatever reason, their grade rules um, for how they grade their patterns for the larger sizes creates a deeper armhole drop, which isn't necessarily needed for larger size bodies. So this is a live and learn, like I've made this mistake before. This is the last time I'm going to make that mistake, and I'll be sure to put all my McCall's sleeved patterns on my ditto form before I cut my fabric out from now on, just to make sure that I don't have too much um, fabric missing from the arm's eye. I do like this pattern, though, and want to give another version a try, but I know that the super big collar is a fleeting trend, and so... This make either needs to happen really quickly or probably just won't happen at all. What I'm most proud of in this make is the fabrication. I was able to find the perfect fabric and matching trim for this top. The main fabric is an embroidered cotton I got at Joanne. It has a really sweet ditzy floral cotton embroidery throughout that adds to the charm of this garment. The fabric is only 50 inches wide, so be sure to use the 45 inch fabric requirement to make sure you have enough. I also like that I chose view A for this because embroidered cotton can be a little bit expensive, um, especially when it's not on sale. And because you're not making the collar out of that expensive self fabric, you actually save a little money on making this top, um, which is also great. The trim is also from Joanne. It is a five and three quarter inch teardrop eyelet trim from Simplicity. When purchased, it's actually gathered into a bit of a bias tape, so it's finished on both of the long edges. But for the top, you do not need that bias finish. So I took my seam ripper, I removed the bias binding, and you know I kept it for another project. <laughs> Once I had that edge raw, I was able to sew it into the garment. Now, you may or may not have noticed by now that the short edges of my collar are finished backwards, meaning they are hemmed the wrong way. I found the directions for the collar and more importantly, like how to attach it to the top. There's a facing, there's your um, bodice pieces and also the collar. I found all that to be a little bit vague and obviously confusing. It wasn't clear if they wanted the pieces right sides together or not, and so clearly I got it wrong. And so by the time I realized it, I had already trimmed and understitched that seam, so there was really no going back. Thankfully, though, I don't think you can really tell unless you've come up close and you're, like, really assessing the collar. And again, since this is such a trendy top, I already know I'm not going to have it forever. I can see past the little whoopsie for something like that. But that is going to do it for this Make It Monday. Let me know what you think of my top and the oversized collar trend in general in the comments section below. And don't forget to check the description box for links to the fabric, pattern, and trimming. But I will see you all very soon. Bye!